The glory, Father, the glory, Son, the glory, Holy Ghost, now forever, now forevermore, the glory, Father, the glory, Son, the glory, Holy Ghost, now forever. Jesus, we are here, we are here for you, Almighty God. We are here, omnipotent, we are here, Almighty Father. We are here, we are here for you. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, Alpha Omega. There is no one like you, Hallelujah. Covenant keeping God. There is no one like you, Alpha Omega. There is no one like you, Everlasting Father, the Covenant keeping God the Prince of Peace, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Father, we worship and we exalt your holy name because of who you are. We appreciate you because you are the creator of heaven and the earth. We appreciate you for your breath upon us, O oh God, for the covenant of life, for protecting us from the dangers of this world, for your umbrella of grace over us. Father, be thou exalted in the name of Jesus. Lord, we lift up your name, O oh God, above every other name. We worship and we bow at your feet, O oh God. Father, accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Everlasting Father, we surrender all to you. We know we have sinned against you. We pray for mercy, O oh God, that they have mercy. O oh God, in the name of Jesus, wash away all our sins and create in us, O oh Lord, a new spirit, a new heart to sin no more in the name of Jesus. Tonight, O oh Lord, we need your infilling, O oh God. Father, Lord, pour out your spirit upon us afresh in the name of Jesus. Lay your hand of fire upon us and let every spirit of buying and selling, every contrary spirit, every spirit from the pit of hell assigned to block the heavens of our understanding. Let your spirit, Lord, be destroyed in the name of Jesus. No matter or what Whatever the devil is planning, oh God, against this service, it shall not stand in the name of Jesus. We overcome Satan, we overcome demons, we overcome principalities, we overcome their altars by the blood of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, open your mouth and say, Blood of Jesus, give me victory over every activities of the devil. Blood of Jesus, give me victory. Blood of Jesus, give us victory tonight over every activities of the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, blood of Jesus, give us victory. Give Give us victory over every activities of the devil. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, agenda of hell to block my memory. Agenda of hell to block my memory. Scatter in the name of Jesus. Agenda of hell to block my memory. I say scatter, 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 scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, say, oh Lord God, my Father. Oh Lord God, my Father. Open my understanding to understand the mystery of the book of Revelation. Open my understanding, oh Lord, to understand the mystery of the book of Revelation. Open my understanding, oh Lord, to understand the mystery of the book of Revelation. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. I welcome you in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to day 12 of our teachings on the book of Revelation. And today we are looking at Revelation chapter 12. Praise the Lord. The Lord God Almighty give us understanding in Jesus' name. Father, I surrender myself before you. Release your fire upon me, O God, to melt and to burn to ashes. Whatever is not of God in my life, in the name of Jesus. Every filthiness, every garment of shame and reproach, every handwriting of the devil over and around me, fire of God, melt them to ashes right now, in the name of Jesus. Fill me afresh, Holy Ghost, and be the voice in me. Do not let me speak of myself, but let the Holy Spirit of God speak through me, in the name of Jesus. And the word that will come out today, let it bring forth revival into every soul that 
that will listen in the name of Jesus. Let it heal the sick. Let it raise the lame. Let it raise the dead. Let it make the blind to see in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, in Jesus. Most blessed and wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Today, the theme for the teaching is war against the dragon. War against the dragon. Beloved, the book of Revelation, as I always say, is the book of before, now, and future. The book of before, now, and future. It is a book that God Almighty has given to us to tell us what happened, what will happen, or what is happening, and what will happen. And I pray in the name of Jesus that the devil will not block our understanding to this book of Revelation in Jesus' name. Amen. In Revelation chapter 12, the Bible says, And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, and a woman clothed with sun and the moon under her feet, and her head a crown of twelve stars. And she being with a child, cried, traveling in birth and pain to be delivered. And there appeared another wonder in heaven. And behold, a great red dragon, having seven heads and ten horns and seven crowns upon his head. A, a wonder, the first wonder that appeared was a woman about to deliver. And another wonder too appeared which happens to be a dragon. This is to tell you and I that the dragon, the devil, we always manifest, whether we like it or not. Anytime there is something spiritual, something great, something spectacular, something wonderful, anytime things of joy is about to happen, the dragon will manifest. I want you to lift up your voice and pray this hour. Say, power of the dragon shall not swallow up my testimony. In the mighty name of Jesus, you power of the dragon shall not swallow up my testimony. Shall not swallow up my future. Shall not swallow up my family. Power of the dragon, lose your hold over my life. Lose your hold over my life. Lose your hold over my life. Say, dragon, fail over my children, over my family. Dragon, I command you to fail. Fail woefully. 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 In Jesus' name. We have prayed. Amen. The Bible says, And he still drew the third part of the stars of the heaven, and did cast them to the earth. And the dragon stood before the woman, which was ready to be delivered, for to devour a child as soon as it was born. The devil was planning to prevent the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. That was why God came down in the flesh. The devil was planning to stop. Initially, when we're studying the book of Revelation, Jesus was not yet manifesting there. Jesus was still in heaven. God was still there. But now that God is now showing us that the devil was planning initially not to allow man to be saved. The plan of the devil was for God to turn his back against man, which he achieved in the book of in the book of Genesis chapter 3, when he lied to man. And devil is still doing everything possible to prevent the salvation of man. That's why whenever you see people and they are being taught about the word of God, Anytime they teach them about revelation, about repentance, about holiness, they are always against teachings like this and the fight. Why? Because the devil is at work to deny them salvation. Let's continue. And he brought forth a man child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron. And a child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place 
prepared of God, that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and three score day, and there was war in heaven. We are getting somewhere tonight. Heaven was a peaceful place before. Heaven was a place where people were singing praises before. All of a sudden, the Bible says, a wonder appeared. A woman was about to deliver. Salvation was about to come. And the Bible even says, another wonder appeared. A dragon was preventing that from coming. And in verse 7, and there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon, and the dragon fought and his angels. I pray that every power in the heavenlies contending with your destiny, powers in the heavenlies contending with your salvation, host of heaven will destroy them tonight in the name of Jesus. As there was war in heaven, as there was war against the dragon, every dragon appearing in your dream, every dragon appearing in your family, dragon appearing in your place of work, they shall be defeated now in the name of Jesus. They are defeated. They are defeated. Dragon appearing in your soul, in your body, dragon tormenting your life, tormenting your family. The Lord God Almighty will disgrace the dragon in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. And there was war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon fought and his angels. It tells you and I that whenever you are praying and you are praying prayer of deliverance, the devil too will fight back. Whenever you are praying, whenever you are casting out, whenever you are binding, Whenever you are setting free, the devil will fight back. And I pray that whenever the Lord is fighting for you, any power that will raise their ugly head up as serpent, they shall be openly defeated and destroyed in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Verse 8. And prevail not, neither was their place found any more in heaven. That means the dragon was in heaven before. He appeared when the when salvage when there was discussion to save the world and the dragon appeared. But after the war, the dragon lost its place in heaven. I pray that the dragon in your family, their place of habitation shall be desolate in the name of Jesus. The dragon in your place of work, they shall lose their position in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name, it is done. And the great dragon was cast out, that old serpent called the devil, and Satan, which deceived the whole world. He was cast out into the earth, and his angels were cast out within. Do you see what happened there? The dragon was cast out from heaven, and if, and these angels as well. That means he had followers, demons. I pray that all the supporters of the deaf around you shall receive divine blindness in the name of Jesus. They shall be disgraced the way they were disgraced out of heaven in the mighty name of Jesus. Verse 10. And I heard a loud voice saying, In heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our God and the power of his Christ. For the accuser of our brethren is cast down, which accused them before our God day and night. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimonies. And they loved not their lives unto death. Therefore rejoice, ye heavens, and ye that dwell him. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil is come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he had but a short time. And when the dragon saw that he was cast unto the earth, he persecuted the woman 
which brought forth the male child. And to the woman was given two wings of a great eagle, that it might fly unto the wilderness, unto a place where she is nourished for a time and times and half a time from the face of the serpent. All and the serpent cast out of her mouth water as a flood after the woman that it might cause her to be carried away of the flood. I pray the flood of the devil will not carry you away in the name of Jesus. And the head helped the woman, and the head opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood, which the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was rough with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandment of God and have the testimony of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. This explains to us the genesis of the problem of this world. The devil hated man to be saved. He does not want man to be saved. And when the woman gave birth, he talks about the birth of Jesus Christ. And when Jesus Christ came, anyone that now accept Jesus Christ, they are the ones that the Bible is talking about in verse 17, that the devil was wroth with the woman and went to make war with the remnant of her seed. So anyone that accept Jesus Christ into his or her life, the devil will always wage war. This tells us that from now on, we'll start seeing the manifestation of the works of the devil. How the devil has been manipulating the whole world. God has been faithful to us to reveal all this to us so that you and I will not be caught in the middle. You and I will not be caught in the tricks and the devices of the devil. I want you to open your mouth tonight. I don't know whether the devil is pouring out water to swallow you up. I don't know whether the devil is after your life, but whether you like it or not as a believer, the devil will declare war. Whether it is now or in the future, the devil will declare war. And the reason why the devil will declare war is because the devil lost his place and he doesn't want believers to go to that place, a glorious place. Heaven is a glorious place. If heaven is not good, the devil will not be fighting believers from going to heaven. Heaven is a good place. Heaven is a place of joy. It's a place of peace. It's a place of happiness. It's a place where there is no crying, no more crying, no more weeping, no more sorrow, no more tears, no more pains. That's why the devil knows that that place is better than any other place. If the hurt is better, beloved, hear this very well. If the hurt is better, the dragon is supposed to be happy that at least God is taking over heaven, he is taking over the hurt. But the hurt is not better than heaven. Devil knows that heaven is a better place and he will deny the believers. He will use anything possible to wage war against believers from making heaven. I want you to pray. I don't know what you have in this world. I don't know what the devil has thrown at you, that you are thinking you have all and it's making you to forsake God. Devil is a deceiver. The Bible called him the deceiver who deceived the world. The Bible called the devil a liar. The Bible called him the accuser of the brethren. I want you to pray tonight. Say, power of the devil shall not overshadow my life. Power of the devil shall not overshadow my Open your mouth and pray. Power of the devil shall not overshadow my life. Power of the devil, you will not overshadow me. You will not overcome me. You will not overshadow me. Devil, you will not overcome me. You will not overshadow me. You will not overcome us as a body of Christ. You will not overshadow us. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, I overcome Satan. I overcome demons. I overcome principalities. I overcome powers by the blood of Jesus. I overcome you, Satan. I overcome you, demons. I overcome you, principalities by the power in the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the power in the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the power in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have prayed, beloved. Whenever you see your mind, Wandering away, whenever you start having thoughts that are not God that are ungodly, whenever things are wrong in your life, that you are trying to do things right, but things are falling apart. Not one thing that the devil is at work. All Christians, whether you like it or not, the devil will target you. 
So it is better for you now to prepare yourself and fight so that the devil did not capture you. I want you to open your mouth and pray like this. Say, net of the devil shall not capture me. The net and the traps of the devil shall not capture me. Shall not capture my children. Shall not capture my family. Shall not capture my marriage. In the name of Jesus, net of the devil shall not capture me. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. You know that today is Wednesday. The time to pray for our children. The devil went forth to fight the remnant of the woman. So our children that are born to us, the devil too, we wage war against them. That's why we need to pray. See, arrows fired by the devil against my children. Arrows fired by the devil against my children backfire in the name of Jesus. Our Bible says they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Every day always endeavor to soak your children in the blood of Jesus. Always endeavor to plead the blood upon yourself, upon your family. That's why on this platform, every time you just say, we cover ourselves with the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost. Why? Because there is power in the blood. They overcame him by that blood of Jesus. Say arrows of darkness, fire by the devil against my children. Back fire in the name of Jesus. Every wicked arrows, fire by the devil against my children. I say back fire, 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 back fire. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say darkness from the pit of hell. Throne are the destinies of my children. Darkness from the pit of hell. Throne are the destiny of my children. Light of God. Destroy them. Destroy them. Destroy every form of darkness. Thrown by the pit of hell. At my children. I overcome you by the light of God and the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the light of God and the blood of Jesus. I overcome you by the light of God and the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Say, my children shall not be harvested by the devil. Devil will not harvest my children. Devil will not harvest the souls of my children. In the name of our children as a church, our children as families, our children as individuals shall not be harvested by the devil. Say, devil, you will not harvest the souls of my children. In the name of Jesus, devil, you will not harvest my children. You will not harvest my children. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Say, I cover my children. I soak my children. I envelop my children with the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus, I cover my children. I soak my children. I envelop my children in the blood of Jesus. In the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. I cover my children. I soak my children. I envelop my children with the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. With the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name, we are praying. Beloved, the devil went to be making war again against the woman and, the, and our children, against all the offspring, you will pray every transferred battles from generation to generation. I terminate you now. You will not prosper against my children. Generational battles, I terminate you. You will not prosper in the lives of my children. Generational battles, I terminate you. You will not prosper in the lives of my children. Generational battles, I terminate you. You will not prosper in the lives of my children. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Lastly, you will shout this, say, my children shall not follow the devil. My children shall not follow the devil. My children shall not follow the devil. Our children shall not follow the devil. In the mighty name of Jesus, our children shall not follow the devil. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Everlasting Father, we thank you because of victory in the blood of Jesus. We thank you, Lord, because of your son that you sent to this world to die for us so that we can defeat the devil. Father, by the blood that was shed on the cross of Calvary, every day of our lives, as we call upon the blood, let there be victory over every power of darkness in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, let there be deliverance in our lives tonight in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, let there be restoration in our lives in the name of Jesus. By the blood of Jesus, let our eyes, oh God, open by fire, open by fire, open by fire, in the name of Jesus. By the power and the blood of 
Jesus. Every spirit, every demon, every authority of darkness that are tormenting us, we overcome them tonight by the blood of Jesus. Every problems in your life, every problems of the mind, problems of the blood, problems in the liver, problems in the legs, we overcome them tonight by the blood of Jesus. Every sickness in your body, I overcome them. We overcome them. We overcome them by the blood of Jesus. Every night problems, every problems of the day, every problems in the middle of the night, we overcome them by the blood of Jesus. Any power or spirit waking up at odd hours of the night to afflict you, we overcome them by the blood of Jesus. I want you to shout, say, blood of Jesus. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, my life must not be wasted in the name of the blood of Jesus. Save my life. Do not let the devil waste my life. Do not let my life to be wasted. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, save my life. Save my life. Save my life. Save my life. Save my life from the fire of the enemy. Blood of Jesus, save my life. Save my life from the flood of the enemies. Save my life from the arrows of the enemies. In Jesus' mighty name. We are praying, amen, 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 in Jesus' name. Praise ye the Lord. From now, we are, we'll be looking at the deep things and the tricks that the devil will put in place to capture believers. And we'll see the end of the devil himself. And as you join us, may God Almighty give us more insight into this teaching in the name of Jesus. You will see how the devil will be giving all his angels powers to do all kinds of miracles to deceive the whole world. But you and I shall not fall into their deceit in the name of Jesus. The Lord will open your understanding. The Lord will empower you more spiritually to discern all the tactics and the tricks of the devil in the name of Jesus. We meet every day on this platform from 6 p.m. to half 6 and every day we have our videos on YouTube, Reality Christian Center channel, and also on our website, www.thepartofrighteousness.com. If this broadcast is a blessing, or this platform is a blessing to you, beloved, endeavor to share the good news. Let the world know that they are targets to the devil. The devil has gone around, is going around now, giving people powers to do signs and wonders. And if you and I are not careful, there are so many Christians that are falling into the trap of the devil because of these fake signs and wonders. These are the gimmicks of the end time. We are moving to the next phase of the book of Revelation, which is the dispensation of Christ in this world. The dispensation of Christ in this world and the last part of the revelation will be the end the end of the devil. The position of Christ and the end of the devil. May God Almighty not allow us, God will not allow you and I to end our lives with the devil in the name of Jesus. Let's share the grace in fellowship. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Seven powerful and great celebration. Hallelujah. Let's go. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you to be tomorrow and have a blessed evening.